Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today I want to do a house that's kind of in like the 150 square meter uh, range, somewhere around there. Um, you know what? We actually haven't done any of the ones from the uh, Cyberpunk DLC at all. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to do this one, the Hacker Loft. Uh, this is from the Cyberpunk DLC, which I believe was a free DLC that came out right around the time that Cyberpunk 2077 released. Or was it 2076? Cyberpunk, the game by uh, CD Projekt Red that was a disaster on launch. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this came out around that time. Uh, so this is what we have to work with. There's no exterior. So we don't need to worry about mowing a lawn or doing a garden or anything like that. We've got kind of this little entry room here. And then in here, there's a fair amount of space, uh, but staircase takes up a good chunk of it. We've got all these windows. Everything's really dirty. This, I believe, is the bathroom. Yeah, very small little bathroom. And then heading upstairs, we have just basically a loft. And that's the whole place. Um, there's not a ton of space, but there's still a decent amount of room to work with here. So I think what we'll probably want to do... Bathroom, obviously, is going to be the bathroom. Uh, we'll probably turn this into, like, a kitchen. This will probably be our living room, I think. Because there's actually room in here. And then we'll have our bedroom uh, upstairs, kind of like it is now, and maybe like a little office area. Uh, and I think we're going to definitely go for kind of the cyberpunk theme and, and try to make it all like futuristic-y and stuff. So yeah, it should be a fun project. Uh, first things first, though, we got to get everything all cleaned up. Okay, my friends, the place is all cleaned up. We got everything all gutted out, uh, and it's ready now for us to put in our furniture and stuff like that. Uh, don't think I really changed much. I think I changed the stairs to this sort of metal, uh, like a lighter metal color, but that's about all I did as far as actual changes go. Uh, the bathroom, I don't think we're really going to do a whole lot in here. I'll do a little bit for sure. Um, but it's not going to be a ton. If we look at bathroom fixtures and showers, I believe there is now a, like, cyberpunk shower? Maybe not. I thought there was, but I actually don't see one. Uh, there is a cyberpunk sink, which I will put in. Uh, let's go with the black one, I guess. Sure. I don't know that it really matters that much. That looks to be about the right spot. But yeah, I don't think we need to do a ton with the bathroom. I think that will be fine. 
Uh, I may want to repaint some walls and stuff as well. But there we go. Uh, more lights. Uh, we do want to stick with kind of the cyberpunk theme, I think. Uh, showers. Let's do a different shower than the one that was in there, though. Maybe... Maybe this one right here. That seems to be about what we're looking for. Also, we'll save a little bit of space since it's rounded, and I think that'll look just a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all we need to do with the bathroom. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and tackle the living room here together, I think. So the first thing we want to do is go to furniture, living room, and we need to find ourselves a couch or two. Uh, preferably something that looks very modern or even futuristic could do maybe something like this could I fit two of these in here ooh is the light switch interfering maybe it's hard to get the exact placement right there no, it doesn't look like the light switch is interfering. But it also doesn't look like we're going to be able to fit two of these in this spot, like I was hoping. How big is this one? That's also going to be too wide, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, what is this? Derrera? There is a smaller armchair. We could do something like this. Do like a wraparound couch and then the armchair. Or maybe we just do a... Maybe we just do this. I think... Oh, will those not fit? I mean, I do have a little bit of extra space on this side. No, actually, just kidding. I don't. So, yeah. That's not going to work. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's do two armchairs. And then in the middle, we'll put a table of some sort, I think. Looks like right th there is as far as it can go. Yeah, we'll put like a some sort of bedside table here. Uh, the do, 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 do tables. Do we have anything that looks cyberpunky? Uh, not really. I suppose we could go with something like this, maybe? Just put that, like, right here in the middle, or maybe make it, like, white? That's not bad. Is there a better color? I don't think we want to go with anything that's, like, just wood tones. I don't think that will look very good. Um... There's also these. Does this look better? No, I think we go with the first one. Uh, where was it? This one, the small coffee table. And let's make it black. And put it, like, right there. That should work. Uh, just as kind of like a, a sort of, you know, uh, like a table. A coffee table. Uh, okay. So now we need a TV stand of some sort. Uh, I think we want to get rid of these. And let's do some different lights, though, first. Uh, let's go ceiling lamps. And there's these Trinity ones and then these ones as well. I think this is the one I want to go with. Uh, and we want to center this on the door and then on the roof. So right about there seems to be... Are these doors not lined up? They're... The doors aren't lined up. Really? <laughs> you couldn't line up the door. Ah, That's going to drive me crazy. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I could take out the door, but like, whatever. It's okay. Um, okay. Let's look at TV stands. What do we got to work with here? Not a whole lot. Uh, and some of these are modded, which I want to try and avoid for the most part, if I can. Uh, let's look at 
shelves. Just see if there's anything here that will work. This Lexington one could be okay, actually. If we make it, like, black. Whoa, that's really small, though. Um, what else do we have that looks fairly future-y? There's these. These, uh, Netron's stuff. Um, but those are, like, just as small. And I think I'd rather go with the first one. Which was right here. There we go. Make it black. And just put that, like, right about there. Right up against the wall. Now, as for the TV, I think we definitely want to go with a hanging TV. And maybe we go with the really gigantic 85-inch chonker of a TV. Put that, like, here. I think that works. And then we can do, like, some speakers and stuff on the side. So we've got, like, these guys. We can maybe put one... Is this... Are these the ones we want to use? Probably. That appears to be centered. What else do we have for speakers? Big. Ooh, big, big speaker. Yeah, there we go. We'll just put a couple of those in here. And maybe we actually get rid of these ones. And then we'll kind of scoot these over to about there or so. That seems good. And then we're going to need an amp. Uh, if there is one. Let's, let's just look at electronic equipment for entertainment. Uh, what do we got that would actually fit here? Cameras, computers, eh, don't, there we go. Throw down an amp. We're going to need a console. Uh, like this one. Put that, like, right there. And then, I suppose we could throw our router down here as well, if we wanted to. Sure. Let's slide the consoles and stuff back a little bit. Just a little. Sure. And then we can do some controllers. And let's do one that has black with red buttons. And one that has black with light blue buttons. Like so. That'll work. And then we'll do a TV remote. Right there. That should do. And now we just need some decorations. And there are some pretty cool ones. Uh, actually, let's just look at stuff from the Cyberpunk DLC and just see what's here. Uh, decorations? Here we go. Eh, now we're talking. Uh, so we've got all of these various plants, which I think are pretty cool. Uh, this one's a little... I'd like one that's a bit, like straighter, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, there we go. Holographic bamboo. Beautiful. We Can we fit that on either side? We totally can. Uh, let's do a different color, though. Maybe, like, snow blue or light blue? I think I like the light blue better. And let's put that one, like... It's kind of clipping into the wall a little bit, but that's okay. We'll put one there and one there just to add a little bit of something. And then as far as the walls go, we've got all of these paintings, which I think are pretty cool. They, like, light up. Um, although I don't know where I want to put them. Are there any that are more, like, square-shaped? No, they're all the... They're all these, like... 
very wide ones. I suppose we could go extra small and do like one here and one here. Is that about right? Bring that over. Yeah, that seems decent. Okay. And then let's look at lights, uh, standing lamps, and we're just going to grab one of these guys and just put that right here so we can turn that on for a little bit of extra light. And then last but not least, let's do a carpet of some type. And the question is, what kind of carpet would we go with? There is, like, this Constellations one that could kind of work. Nah, not a fan. Honestly, probably just something like this. It's kind of boring. But something along these lines is probably what we're looking for. And then make it... Uh, light my app, yeah, probably just make it blue to fit sort of the rest of the room. We'll kind of bring this back over this way like so. That seems about right. Maybe one more right there. Then it's centered. And there we go. We got ourselves a nice little living room that I think will work out uh, reasonably well. We could put in, like, some shelves. Um, if I can find any that are, like, reasonably... cyberpunky, <laughs> for, for lack of a better term. Uh, I actually don't hate that. That's not bad. We'll put that one in. And then on the other wall... I'll maybe do couple of these guys. Uh, preferably in light blue. Like one and... Oh, do they not... Oh, I see. They don't... Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. Why would you do this? <laughs> they don't join up properly. Okay. We'll disregard that. Um... Let's just go here. And let's do hanging cabinets instead. We'll put like one here and one there. Sure, that'll work. Okay, there we go. We've got our living room and I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna start tackling the big main room and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll turn out well. Okay, guys, I think I got the main room all done, and I'm quite happy with it. So this is our little kitchen area over here. I think it works out pretty well. I used the samurai set, which is this sort of cyberpunky kitchen set, and uh, I think it's great. We've got a nice little wraparound counter here. Got an oven, sink, some hanging cabinets, uh, went with the cyberpunk fridge, and then the island. One thing I want to highlight about the design is I went with this sort of hexagon tile here, and then to sort of mark it out as the kitchen area, I went with a different tile just right around the edge. And I think that actually looks pretty good to sort of separate that. I also added a small wall right here. Uh, so yeah, there's the kitchen, and I think it turned out great. And then, then we've got our kitchen island here with some bar stool seating as sort of our pseudo dinner table, so to speak. Uh, over here, I've got kind of the workstation area uh, where we have a desk and a bunch of monitors and all sorts of cyberpunky electronics and things like that. Uh, threw in a arcade machine over here along with a pinball machine over on this side. Uh, and just a bookshelf, a couple random decorations on the wall, pipes and things like that to sort of uh, all bring it together. Various lights, a lot of, a lot of neon uh, stuff, to be honest. And then in the center of the room, I went with just sort of a wraparound couch with a coffee table, uh, just to sort of fill that floor space a bit. Uh, so yeah, there's the downstairs. I think it actually looks pretty good, all things considered. Um, 
Heading upstairs, though, the loft, this I decided to keep as sort of the bedroom, although I changed it up a little bit. So I put the bed over here on the far side with, uh, I think these are called Mime is the, the set. Uh, let's see. If we look at, yeah, Mime is the name of the, uh, the set here. And I use that for this wardrobe, the bedside tables, and these two uh, chests of drawers. Um, because I thought it fit fairly well. It, like, it looks like it could kind of fit in this setting. Uh, and then wall decorations, just a couple of these cyberpunky paintings, a couple of mirrors, and some hanging shelves. Threw in a carpet over here, and then each of these little hexagon things are individual carpets, but I put them all together to make another kind of uh, rug in front of the sofa that I put here. Uh, and then, of course, hanging lights and all that kind of stuff. So this is the upstairs loft. Also went with a different wallpaper on the back wall just to sort of make that pop out a little bit more. And yeah, I think it turned out great. So that's the whole place. Uh, this place is essentially three rooms if you include the bathroom. Because uh, because the downstairs here and then the loft are kind of one giant room. Um, I guess four rooms. You, you'd probably count the loft separately. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the whole house, and there's no yard or anything like that. So there we go. I think it's ready for sale. I really didn't do anything in here with the bathroom. Like, we just kept that as is for the most part. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and give this thing, uh, let's just put it up on auction and see what we can get for it. Looks like we have about 112000 into the place. So we're barely going to break even, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So they bet a bit they they bid uh, a bit higher than I thought they would. Let's try and negotiate that for a little bit more though. Let's see if maybe I can get another Let's see if we can maybe get it up to like 15. Oop, too high. Let's go like right about there. And let's just see if we can get 15,000 profit on this house. If not, that's fine. Okay, cool. So there we go. Uh, I accept. Let's get some before and after pictures. Definitely looks a lot less uh, dingy <laughs> with all the lights and stuff on, that's for sure. Oh, that's kind of a cool shot. I like it. Lots of bright colors, though. Lots of neon. Um, a little clashy for my taste in real life, but I wanted to kind of embrace the cyberpunk theme and, uh, you know, make it all fancy. So... Yeah, I think that turned out pretty well. I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, kind of a fun little side project, messing around with uh, futuristic themes like that. But guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.